Hi, this is Susie, Susie Gemini, and I want to talk to you guys today about the new moon in Aries taking place on April Fool's Day, April 1st. However, on Pacific time, my time, it's a couple hours before. I'm not going to get too technical on uh, this video because I want to kind of talk from the heart. Um, Aries, when we think of Aries, we think of the warrior, uh, the I am, the taking, taking action. Aries is very fiery energy. Uh, they're the type of person that can walk into a room where they don't know anyone and they'll go up to a, a stranger and talk talk to them there's so much good aries is is one of the signs i admire the most they take the action well the sun and the moon and mercury are all in aries this will help with our communication and it's a really a good time to take action however chiron's there now, Chiron is the wounded healer. I decided on this talk about this new moon to break out Black Moon Astrology Cards again by Susan Shepard. And I'm going to show you Chiron. I'm going to give you a brief little discussion from the book, which is very well written. I highly recommend this deck about Chiron for anyone who might not have heard of Chiron. Chiron brings up healing. It says in this book, the wound is the place where the light enters you, Rumi. Healing must take place before you are able to deal with your matter. I think you guys can see where I'm going with this. Chiron is not a planet but a comet comet with I can't speak to get today guys with a unique orbit that travels through the entire zodiac over approximately 51 years now I'm going to be 50 in May on a side note and when you have a Chiron return it's a great time you almost feel sometimes the energies lift as you get closer and closer to your Chiron return of past traumas. They seem to just fade away. It's like you can almost let them go. But again, for my subscribers, not everybody is my age. I've dealt with a lot getting closer and closer to turning 50 and it varies a little 50, 51. I've dealt with a lot, but I've been able to let go of so much. So when we go back to healing must take place before you're able to deal with your matter, I've been kind of meditating on that. And I thought, yeah, I could do a video and say, hey, everybody, uh, new moon in Aries, take action. You know, do it, do it now. But because Chiron's there, I'm wondering if some healing issues need to be addressed before we take that action. Now, I'm going to leave that up to you guys, but I want to tell you really quick the myth of Chiron. I'll make it very brief. Chiron is the Greek word for man horse. In myth, Chiron, the centaur, the wisest of all creatures, was the wounded healer and self-enlightened shaman. He was wounded in the flank and was almost crippled, but was rehabilitated from his wounds and sickness to pursue the healing arts through the guidance of Apollo, God of Light. He could heal everyone but himself. So I started thinking on this for, for me and for you guys, and I thought, is there something you need to address uh, 
in your heart before you take action with Aries. You know, Aries, the warrior, you just, the I am. Your, your Aries is going to rush into it. But because Chiron's there, I thought I should let them know that you may need to work on some healing and it may bring up healing issues and I'm going to go off you know task here and say I've been really also studying Sabian symbols like you guys might have seen on my one video and I thought I've got to see Aries 11 degrees and it says Aries 11 degrees the president of a country and yeah I thought about that and I thought well that can mean a lot of things uh, pre presidents uh, can have a lot of respect a lot of people can respect a president or maybe the you know person doesn't respect the president uh, it could be a very ambitious president ambitious and I was thinking about the world what's going on in, in the world or it could be a very caring person and I thought wow that I'm just going to share it with you and I'll let that sit with you the president of a country and then with Chiron there and the Aries energy I thought this could be an interesting new moon so I want to thank you guys for listening and please if like and subscribe and also i will be right after this video taping an oracle drop maybe we'll get more clarification so thank you guys okay guys i'm back thank you for watching i decided to use uh oracle of the shapeshifters from uh, Lucy Cavendish and the artist is Jasmine Beckett Griffith and before I started filming I was shuffling and meditating on what I just said and I appreciate you listening to that very long rambling explanation uh, but I, I like to talk from my heart speak from my heart because that truly I always have sort of a deep intuition with certain certain things and I'm hoping the Aries new moon is a great time for new beginnings you hear the right now spring the birds chirping but I thought oh Chiron there uh, we are either gonna have to address healing in our own life like I said before taking action or if this is on a collective level there may be uh, something that needs to be healed before moving forward. So I'm going to ask Great Spirit, what is our message about the Aries New Moon? And I should also say thank you for your patience on watching that video. Great Spirit, what is our message for the Aries New Moon? What do we need to know? And remember guys, Aries is fiery, fiery energy. And that's a great thing with new possibilities and manifesting on a new moon. But I, I, you guys, you got it. What I was saying about the healing aspect, I'm pretty sure. You guys are extremely intelligent. Okay, Aries new moon, our message. Aries new moon. Aries new moon. Aries new moon. Thank you. Aries new moon. Okay. Sacred beetle armor. You have a mighty shield. Well, I'm going to let you guys sit with that. You have a mighty shield. protection maybe before taking that action armor protects us dive deep into our chiron 
look at the Aries part of your chart because that's the part where this new moon is really going to affect you and affect me. So, you have a mighty shield. Well, with a shield you can protect yourself and you can go into battle. But, maybe think on it. Check out what you need to maybe do to heal and then take the action on the new moon. Much love, everyone. Thank you for watching Brightest Blessings.